I could start every single day watching that. Probably be a better man for it. What? Is that like a like a Korean thing? What are they doing? Is that a kid? Sounded no, like it was it. a grown <laughs> woman. Welcome back, everybody. Go uh -huh. Dynamite intro, Mrs. Lush. Today, we're back with more people behaving badly in public. I mean, there is just no end to behavioral issues. Kids, two adults. Yeah. The reservation on our phone is clear. We'll be reserved. Yeah. What do you expect us to do? Well, with that one, we could get you checked in. It came in as a king suite reservation. So it has a king bed and a sofa pull-up couch. We expect us to do that. We, we, we have two kids and us. We can't all sleep in a king bed. That's ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's just, it's the way that Booking.com sends us the reservation. So all that we have is that, and we're sold out for tonight. Okay, I get that. So what do you expect us to do? That's my question. Well, that's How what I'm saying. It? Yes, so we could either check you into the room or we could cancel the reservation. That's the only two and options. Sleep in our car? You no, I'm not. Yeah, I mean, where else are we going to go? Are there any other Holiday Inn Express hotels you can check us into? Is I don't have the power to do that, but there are Holiday Inn Expresses in Bloomington. So you're not even going to help us. You're going to say, take the room as it is, or you're on your own. His tone is already super entitled. Yeah, and she's like super calm thus far. Yeah. Also, he booked it on booking.com, not through the hotel, so maybe it could have been something he messed up. Sounds what like I it. can do to help you guys is get you guys checked into the room that has the king bed and the sofa pullout couch. But apart from that, we don't have any other rooms the to sofa check you guys couch. into. The kids. If it's the regarding couch. what you guys reserved, you would have to call booking.com so that they could assist you with something that happened on their end. But this is just the information that we've received from booking.com. Hmm. Who hasn't checked in? What else is available worth four beds? Oh, we don't have any other rooms available. Who hasn't checked in yet? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy sucks, dude. I hate this guy. These rooms are reserved. I can't take them from somebody that's already reserved a room. You gave somebody our room, right? The way it was supposed to be reserved? No, because we held the room that we had the information for which is the King Suite. That's what Booking.com sent over to us. So we kept that room for you guys. Well, that guy definitely booked the King Suite and is now in there crying because he f***ed up and <laughs> booked the wrong room <laughs> on Booking.com. They have a pull-out couch for the kids in a king bed. Yeah. A king bed. It's not like a single queen with nothing else. For, right. You could sleep on the floor if you had to. You have a room. Ask for a How did cot? You like one of those rollaway oh, beds? I mean, when, when, when you see it come in, don't you go, hmm, this doesn't make sense. No, no, because booking.com sends us the information, so that's the reservation, and we this hold it as it is. Sucks. It's not their responsibility to make sure you book the right room. No, it's not. So you think four of us can sleep in that room? That's your situation. yes, absolutely. King size bed, pull out couch, two kids. I've seen enough. If you aren't, unless he's gonna really freak out. Hero bystander. I'm just stepping in. Like you have a king bed and a pull out bed, right? Yeah. You have two beds and four yeah. kids. Two kids and us. Yeah, it is. Well, look, you're being I mean, I don't think that is. It's, it's, you know, uh, that's not really respectful. Ooh. I think we can just go ahead and cancel your reservation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm not too sure, but there don't are a care, lot of hotels in the area. Why don't you just sit tight for a second? I will. I'll be here till 11. Oh, my God. That, she was so calm. That guy wins the absolute mo moron of the decade award. I love that the guy next to him was just hearing it and like, wait, so there's a king bed and a pullout, right? Right. Like we're all hearing He's the like, same thing. What do you expect us to do? Do your kids need their own, each individual bed? Have you never slept in a hotel room before? Are you, I, They're at a Holiday Inn Express. What kind uh, of king oh, suite it, are they that expecting? That stuff gets my blood boiling. Like that man she just, was so calm. he needs to be looked in the face and then slapped in the mouth. It's hard as possible. I'm already heated. POV, my uncle hired a banda for our mother's day party and... called the police on your neighbors having a party. Like, I would love it if my neighbors hired a bond to do and just be out there tooting along. I mean, our neighbors have some rippers up the street. They do. There was actually- And I'm like, all right, let me sit in my yard and enjoy your music. There was definitely a prom party going on last night. nonchalantly walk by and yeah. see if we can get an invite. Just imagine being so miserable. Like, dude, what, do you, what is this stopping you from doing? Like, get out of the house, go enjoy something, put on some headphones if you need to. He's probably just at home watching like Mari Povich, drinking f***ing Budweiser, smoking Marlboro Reds, just pissed that he has to listen to that Mexican mariachi band next door and like realistically how long is that band going to go on for days those spanish love to celebrate just okay. kidding i have no idea <laughs> probably not that long you hire a band a couple, couple hours yeah can't manage but he's been asking what i did to cause cadillac karen to call the cops on me 
Ooh, well, let's just say that a picture. picture is worth a thousand words. For those of you who haven't been following the story, I'm a farmer, and one day when I was hauling a load of manure up the road oh. here in front of my barn, a gal in a Cadillac Escalade got behind me, thought I was going too slow, tried to pass me, but couldn't get around on our narrow little road. So she ended up reverting to a tactic that I'm pretty sure in hindsight uh, didn't work out so Shut well for up. her. So what she did was get behind me and tailgate me and flash her lights and blow her horn and flip me off. Yeah. And at a certain point, man, I had just had enough and I snapped. <laughs> and I'll be damned if that manure spreader accidentally didn't slip into gear. <laughs> Farmer out. That's actually probably the best story I've ever heard it in my is, life. It is, because yeah. there's just that instant yeah. karma I mean, F you. And this guy just see it sounds so likable, too. Around, yeah. Man, just a know. good old boy, blue-collar boy, yeah, trying to transport some boy, manure for the cows. <laughs> and hoity toity uppity in the Cadillac, blinking, flipping them off behind her. Like, yeah, yeah, you can get manured. I could start every single day watching that and probably be a better man for it. Just wake up with my morning coffee and watch that guy talk about how he manured the shit out of some dumb bitch. Love it's it. really good. Farmer out. <laughs> what a guy. Trigger warning, extreme road rage. Are you going to be okay, hon? For a trigger warning? Yeah. The only trigger warning I need is... The lady is, road. like, following me. And Rami. She <laughs> is doing road rage. Can you call the police for me? He's I doing... work here. She's going crazy. <gasps> Jesus. So I got attacked um, by this lady um, for some minuscule things. She thought I cut her off. I have proof that I was in the right lane the whole time. Um, she did not hit me with, did not collide, and she did this. She hit me, punched me in the lip. Wow. I did not be hit with a manslaughter, you miss. There's two lanes that turn left. Well, she actually popped yeah, him in the face, did. huh? Holy sh! I did not vehicular manslaughter, you miss. There's two lanes what? that turn left. There's two lanes that turn left. You're so wrong, miss. Miss, you're so wrong. We are pulled over. What are you gonna just like have a cage match? What are you gonna do? Like you're in a parking garage. Misunderstanding. Go on with your day. You just she she punched me. I know. Why did you punch me, Miss? I didn't try to kill you and your kids. Oh, are her kids in the car? I just watched mom punch someone in the face. Wait, is she talking, calling him honey? I like, man, some people defy reason. Like, how do they exist? How do they get to be that age and still exist that that way? Miserable f She needs to be arrested. I don't think so. An update video says there's a court date. Good. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely enough to get her in court. She oh, for sure, She for assaulted sure. you in your own car. Yeah. For sure. Good, I hope she gets bagged. I don't think that they're going to care about what happened before that. I, especially probably, you know, if there's no video proof, proof. Exactly. it's going to be he so said, just, she had. Exactly. There's no damage to the cars. There wasn't an accident. Maybe there was like a whoops, like we got in a little something in the parking garage. It's like my bad. We're both safe. No one's hurt. You're traveling at low speeds in the parking garage anyways. But you decide to get out of the car, walk over and punch someone in the face for it. Holy smokes. What a dumb see you next Tuesday. Oh, the old freak out of Nice, I love this. I love a good fast food free time. They gave him the wrong amount of chicken wings. Yeah, like I can only That's take, enough of I can, it. I, I, we get the point. People are just unwell. I do feel bad for the public facing workers that have to deal with this stuff. Obviously when you work in cities, there's just a higher concentration of people that are probably much more likely to fly off the handle. But then you see a lot of the stuff in the suburbs too, and like the rich suburbs of these like wine moms and these crazy old, Mom. Yeah, oh my god, yeah. We love a good wine mom on the Leon Lush YouTube channel. A couple glasses of Chardonnay and some Xanax, forget wow. it. She's she's liable to do anything, dude. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Not too good. What the hell? 911 now! Oh. <laughs> He's touching my arm! This is so sad. <laughs> This is literally like watching two th four year olds fight. Yeah. But they're 70. I just can't, like. Out of my hair. That's assault. That's assault, yeah. Call 911 now. He's pushing me in the knee. That's, that's self defense. The person that's referring to He's dying. I would be too, He's honestly. Laughing. This is the saddest shit I've ever seen now. in my life. Now he took my food. I would die of secondhand embarrassment after this game. 
<laughs> slither under the <laughs> table and like slide out the door. Give me my fries and get me out of here. He threw my phone down. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. Touch me. He's, we'll in, a go shirt. Touch me. He's in a light green shirt with white hair and short sleeves. Touch me. You no, know, I'm a customer. He's an older man with white hair and a light green t-shirt, short sleeve. He's another customer who's- They're both so pathetic. One guy's pathetic and then this guy's like cowering into the phone. Uh, he's, uh, he's a white, he's a green shirt and he's got jean shorts with white hair. And it's like, dude, just leave or stand up for yourself. Like this whole thing is just such cuck energy. I'm just disgusted by it. Assaulting me. <laughs> Do what a man does, grab him by the hair and drive your knee so far up into his teeth that he can't eat for three months. Don't do that. That's bad advice. You're terrible. Yeah. I love that there's just this guy following around dying laughing regarding the whole time. Did you start jogging? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, he went to take a picture of his car or something. You guys are like 60. They're more than that. They're older than that, bro. 70 going on four. Yeah. That was just maybe one of the most pathetic things I've ever seen. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Come open the door. Watch out right here. He's gonna come on the curb. He's gonna come on the curb. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Go, 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 go! Oh, What are we doing here? And now he's stuck. God, I wish I had more context for that. But Way that, more. That is insane. How many cars did he just Now hit? you're stuck. Like four, four or five. Like, that is the crazy thing about cars. It's like second someone... Uh, Flies yeah, off the yeah, handle, yeah. cars become uh, a weapon. The guy talking knew he was coming up on the curb, probably saved yeah. a life. Yeah, 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 he made a great call, actually. Looks like attempted murder. I mean, in hindsight, you could charge that guy probably with that. No context. Classic freak out clips online. How'd that feel? She identifies as a toddler. <laughs> Truly, though. Tailbone strong as steel. Ugh. She did eat. She went down pretty hard there. Oh. Oh, yeah, because those feet slipped out. That's going to be a nice bruise. Yeah, she seems normal. She's probably doing fine. That made me wince, though, because I got a tailbone injury once snowboarding, I think, and it was like... Hurts. Horrible. It's a while. Oh, dude, it, it took takes a while. forever to heal. So weird. I haven't thought about that in so many years. But like landing it's hard not on your like tailbone. A common it's thing for us to injure. Certainly not. A lot of padding down there, but you hit it the wrong way. <gasps> Yo. What the Whoa. hell? Oh my God. What? Yo, and then flew one. Okay, stop. Bro, that's crazy. So I don't first, like that. Yeah, no. So first of all, the motorcycle going to kick the car, stupid idea. Yeah. Like we've seen yeah, that before. Yeah, we've it usually seen, doesn't end well. You gotta understand you can't kick the car, the weight distribution. The car immediately swerving into it, that's attempted murder. <laughs> motorcycle swerves it. Car overcorrects, pit maneuvers himself into the wall, and then this poor bastard. Hey, we're stopping. Oh my god. Flips onto his roof because of that dumb. And the motorcycle didn't get touched, right? Motorcycle's out of there, dude. That was wild. All for what, though? Like, road rage is so crazy because, like, one little wrong thing and it can cost someone their life over absolutely nothing. Are they kissing? What are they doing? Oh, spitting. <laughs> is that like a like a Korean thing? What are they doing? I don't know, but I freaking hate spitting. And each other's face is a Louis. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. Throw a punch. That's such a male dominance fight right there. Like, we don't fist fight over here. We just get as close as possible and see you can spit more into each other's mouth. <laughs> yeah, dude, show that bitch who's boss. <laughs> Settle that dispute with a good spit swap. <laughs> what? I don't know what's worth, that or the old men in McDonald's. They're both, maybe the old men in McDonald's should have so. had a spit oh, fight. Ooh. Spit fight! <laughs> Lady throws a tantrum over wrong sushi order and doesn't pay. Wrong sushi order. They're like hibachi, dude. This is like us going out to hibachi. Yeah. And, I mean, this guy's just eating his rice. That looks delicious. Oh. 
so good. Life be life and yo. Is that the one guy I missed? Yeah. <laughs> life be life and. Life do, do be life and don't. Cuffed and stuffed. Yeah, baby. good, good, good. Love it. Love it. All over a sushi roll. Imagine. Life is tough when you are just sub 10 IQ, I gotta tell you. Toronto. No. No. What's going on? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. What's, is he just going up to every car he sees and punching it? He's bleeding on the car. He's bleeding on the car. What the hell? He's on a fire engine? He's on a fire engine now? Yeah, my wife can't handle it. You hate shit like this, huh? I don't like it. Here's the deal. I've said this before on the main channel, but like we need to make Insane Asylum school again. I know, like I say that facetiously, obviously, but we are at a point in society where people that previously probably would have been locked away somewhere and not treated well, just kind of like roam the streets and exist and and cause havoc in public and there's yeah. not really nothing you can do. You can like put them away for like petty crimes, they eventually get out and I mean it's- And it repeats itself. Just a vicious cycle. Everyone probably tries to point fingers or blame something, government, this system, that system. Just the nature of humanity. There's always gonna be levels of the human condition that just are unfit to fit in with a civilized society. We've been trying to contact you regarding your car's extended warrant. I mean, imagine actually trying to to check a motorcycle tire with your car. That's a quick way to kill somebody as well. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh oh. Thanks for the light display. Look at this woman. That's exactly what I expected her to look like. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> losers, dude. This world is just full of losers. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. No, it's really just they all culminate and, you know, we curate lists of them on the internet and it gives me a skewed uh, view of what's out there. But most people are pretty nice and pleasant. My experience, when you actually leave the office doors and go out in the real world. Do you feel like you have to kind of... Reset my expectations sometimes? Yes, I do. Exactly. I've been doing this for years and I like, oh wait it's not really I constantly like yeah <laughs> I constantly have to be like wow this is a short curated list because all of the most desperate losers obviously get the most attention on the internet because mm. of the way social media works I have to remind myself that you know what the world is filled with quite a few awesome people and get outside and just go do normal shit. And so they're just watching idiots on the internet so now speaking of idiots on the internet Just a, just a two minute tantrum in a Home Depot. Leon, when he can't hit his eight iron. <laughs> yeah, me at the golf course. Throwing everything around. After I sent it in the woods for the ninth time. It's like ex employee. Like, what are we doing here? Someone just tackle him or something. Hit him with a fing slam out. Snow shovel, yeah. It's so with the old man from Home Alone to come in with the shovel and <laughs> give him a good one. That'd be so good. This is the thing, like with the employees there, like they're not getting paid. They they're, yeah, they're not getting paid enough to do anything. You know, it's whatever. Let it happen. It's just a guy being weird, freaking out for nothing. Oh, oh wait! I just saw what this recently. He literally like what hits him, steals his. What the fuck is your problem? I don't feel like I've seen this. Have you? Is it old or new? What the f is your problem, dude? It's possibly it's old. I'm not sure. <laughs> Call the cops, man. You're out of control. Give me my key. Yeah. Give he me my steals key. his key, dude. Hey! Hey! You get off my bike! Knock it off! You're out of control right now! It's okay! It's okay! <laughs> no, I have a deal! What the out here pulling wheelies and racing. I just got here! What the f are you talking about? You're a f crazy man! You own the road, bro? You stay off of this like, he dead ass went and hip checked a motorcycle and then stole the key? That's so the weird. <laughs> Who does this guy think he is? Is this your road? You own this road? No, I don't. No, you don't. Give me my key. Give me my key. You need to stop. I'm gonna go call the cops. Now, you stole his keys? You need to stop. Call the cops. You hey, should. You need to. You need to stop, please. I mean, I'm putting that man in a headlock and putting him to sleep and taking my key back at that point. I say that. I have no idea how I'd react in real life, but what a disaster. Granny stops right, robber. Are you gonna pay for that? Yeah. 
When? Huh? You gonna pay for it? You gonna bike too? Uh, get out of here. Come on, bud. Come on. Get out. Right. Get out! Take your go. Love it. I don't recommend it. I mean, you no. never know how crazy no. that person yeah. is on the other side. But thieves deserve the absolute worst. Absolute worst. I wish Granny had a shotgun. She just blew a hole in his chest. It's <laughs> a little aggressive. No Calm down. Give. No, she did pull this mask right off. Love it. And then on the flip side of that, same Granny trying to steal from a museum. 82 year old, 85 year old versus museum glass. No, 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 they're, no, they no, don't no, have no, a no, fucking... No, 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 no. Oh, no. That's not working so hot. Activist. Oh, that's the Magna Carta. Holy s***. Well, that glass is strong for a reason. Yes, can I come to... Oh my god, she's wearing a fucking Just Stop Oil shirt. I'm gonna hang myself. These are the worst people on the planet. This is like, oh, you've seen this line before, like people throwing tomato sauce and like the Mona Lisa and like these, they go around to like these high-end art exhibits. They always are part of this organization called Just Stop Oil and they're, they all just need to be thrown in a fucking wood chipper to be quite fair. Yes, I'm gonna say no Our government is trying to get seem to be kind of... Yes, sir, can I come to... To do all that I can. Can you stop doing that, please? Stop doing it, please. Eh? Well, so we you know what? Stop doing that, that, please. Do you hear me? Just stop. Oil. Oil. What? What does dealing that I have mean, to do? I mean, it's one thing. Is it just for the attention? There's a lot of mental gymnastics that go into what they do, like okay. in the reasoning behind it. Certainly, yeah, it's like they think, what can they do to get the most amount of attention for their cause? So let's go to like the, you know, some of the most famous documents and our pieces in the world. We'll try to deface them and then, you know, hold out our sign or say our piece. I'm used to seeing like young kind of college age misguided children do this type of shit, but to see a couple grannies do it, that's curious. Mm -hmm. At Subway. I placed my order for pickup, and you're not going to make my order. Why? No. Why because not these locations are not participating. Okay, but I ordered through the app. What? With the discount and everything like that. Through the app. Why and are you harassing? Because we are brown, that's why? I'm brown? What the f are you talking about? I'm... Why are you speaking like this? Because place? I want to, and we in America, I can say whatever I want. Call the cops. No, you <laughs> He's like, I'm brown too. What are you talking about? I don't care. What are you saying? I'm not going nowhere. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm not going nowhere. Make me leave. Now what? I mean, the cell phone camera really has just become a virus. Like, everyone's just immediately like, well, we're going to make this into a f***ing video now because, well, I don't, I don't we're know. We're making it into I don't a video like, now. I feel like Subway's are franchise, so, like, the owners probably can play by I different rules. Know. Like, you know how Duncan sometimes, if you go to order something mobile, they can, like, disable it. So you can't order mobile. If they, sure, Like, sure. maybe they don't have a, enough staff on or something yep. like that. So I can see where if, like, you ordered something for pickup and you got there and they refused to make it, that feels weird. Yeah, it does. So I don't. I don't know the context there. Maybe he's justified in being angry. Making video. Uh... Oh God, I've definitely seen this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not moving. You're on the wrong side of the road. Excuse me. You're on the wrong side of the road. Really? You're on the wrong side of the road. Is that a kid? It no, like it was it. a grown oh. woman with dogs. I don't. They literally cut that one short. It continues to go on, but she did just literally drive right into her. I love that they both. They really played that game of chicken, and neither of yeah. them, neither of them gave way. Just <laughs> poor dogs. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I need a mental cleanse after this video. Yeah, let's. I'm dying a little bit inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what happens. We Oof. need to go back to doing like some fun additions or something like that. It's occasionally, that's why we, we try to do it intermittently on the channel here. I don't like to, I don't want you to turn into what I've become. I'm full of cringe right a now. That's a nihilistic monster, yeah. <laughs> yeah. As always though, we appreciate your guys' company here as we occasionally look at the parts of society that are circling the drain, but there are so many beautiful things out there to be thankful for. Don't let the internet skew your view of the world. We love you. Thanks for joining us. See you in the next one. Peace.